Now that's what I call a double header right there, man. That was a great night. Wow. Cannot wait to recap this night here on Inside the NBA presented by Kia. A couple of dandies in Miami and Los Angeles. Welcome everybody, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Let's get right into this thing because it was a beaut between the Grizzlies and the Lakers. John Morant and the Grizz, the number two seed in the West, trying to reclaim the home court advantage against LeBron and the Lakers. And early on, LeBron stops, pop, drop. Mm. Sounds like a song, honey. <laughs> Might be. Shut him down, open up shot. Le LeBron again as he steps back. And Austin Reeves. He was nice tonight. Yes, he was. 23 on the night. Man. He led the Lakers in scoring. Desmond Bain, who's been struggling from three in the series. That was his first of the first half in five tries. Cut the gap to 54 to 52. Morant off balance. You see him shaking that hand. He stays in. Next possession. Oh, good oh, look, Blake. Good was that, too. I gave you that was good. Him. That was good, but he had one that was better. Yep. Oh, nice foreshadowing, Chester. We'll get to that in just a bit. Jared Vanderbilt double digits. He had 15 on the night, 11 in the first half, by I'm, the way. Uh-oh, Dylan Brooks. I'm glad three. Dylan Brooks played well tonight. LeBron inside. It's a one-point game. Now we're tied at 81. And Ja oh, oh, beats yeah. the clock. Man, that's incredible. Good though, the left hand? Yeah. yeah. The 80, it's alive. 80, Jack, he only dunks 81. With his left hand. Going to the fourth. What a move. Bain lays it in. He had a career playoff high 36. Morant off the mark. But Tillman with the offensive rebound, and Bain calmly drains the three. They had a 97 to 90 lead. Then and then three in a row. D'Angelo Russell has it. Got a hat third. trick. One more. Uh, those are big shots. Got kept the Lakers alive. Memphis answer. Desmond Bain. Oh, nice push off. Game tied at 99. This was a scary moment. And yes. Morant was high flying Ooh. into James. Offensive foul. If LeBron's head wasn't there, he would have hit that back of the hard. Giannis, I think the Kupo play. Mm. LeBron, one more. The Rui, and look at Austin Reeves just Ooh. taking it right to the glass. Not just a three point shooter. Oh, Ooh, give me that. that. Ooh. Defensive player this of the a, year. This is great for America. And there's the pass you were talking about. That was awesome, right Desmond there. Bain. Give me that. Get that out of here, little fella. 104 to 102. About seven seconds to go in the game. I see you too. LeBron Vision. has Tillman mm. off glass. Ernie, that's we our time. That was not an easy layup. Not at all. And so now one more chance with AD. Yeah. AD's, well, that's good, got, AD's got 19 blocks and LeBron's shot Ernie. was late. But how crazy was that? Well after the horn. They should but, count that. This is kind it's of Hollywood, horn, man. man. It's Hollywood. Let's go to overtime. Mm. LeBron again takes it to the rim. And more defense by the Grizzlies. And Dylan Brooks mm. yeah, with sure. the finish. One sure point game. Taking care of the ball tonight. Reeves, no, but AD there with the tip. And then Dylan Brooks on LeBron James. And LeBron takes it and forward. one. And that would be your ball game. The Lakers in overtime take it 117 to 111. For the first time in his career, regular season or postseason, LeBron with 20 rebounds. He had 22 and 20. AD, 12, 11, four blocks. Struggled from the floor in this, but came up huge with the, with the blocks. And of course, Austin Reeves with his 23. And the Lakers have themselves 
a three to one lead. And uh, Darvin Ham live post game. I mean, just the way we attacked each possession on both sides of the ball. We had a next play, refuse to quit mentality. Um, I'm so proud of our guys, man, the way we fought. You know, we always, we've told them since day one, we want to be the most competitive together ball club for 48 minutes or however long it takes. And today it took 53. But again, us just figuring out a way, finding a way. Everybody's pulling in the same direction. Um, and shout out to the Memphis Grizzlies, man, a hell of a ball club. Hell of a ball club. Um, we knew we were going to have our hands full with those guys facing a uh, deficit. And so, you know, we had some moments in the game that weren't too pretty. But again, we just kept chipping away possession by possession. Didn't get discouraged, didn't fall apart. Again, had some unfortunate segments. But for the most part, guys came together and dug our heels in the sand when it came time to make the right plays. Darvin, I'm not sure how often you want LeBron taking charges like that when I'm on the court, but, but can you talk about just about his will to win tonight and, and doing all, all of the little things that he did? You know, he understands the timing, the timing of everything. You know, what, what, the, the, the known of what happened yesterday and the unknown of tomorrow, <laughs> it makes him even more entrenched in today, into the moment. And uh, all of his travels, all of the phenomenal things he's accomplished. Again, he still has that passion, that grit to want to be on top and to want to put his team in position the right way to uh, be successful. And that's what you saw, 20 rebounds, 15 defensive rebounds, um, the plays, him communicating with the coaches, him communicating with his teammates, trying to figure out not his way or somebody else's way, but the best way for us to go about, you know, giving ourselves a chance to win. And, um, you know, that's just who he's been his entire career. That's who he's been. All about making the right play, whether it's for himself or someone else. Understand that in order for us to get all of our other guys to do and, and make the right plays and sacrifice themselves, he has to be at the top of that list. And that's what those charges represented. You know, him doing whatever it takes to put us in a position to succeed. Damn. Possession play that you ended up not going your way. Was that a mistake to use the challenge on that in retrospect? Yes. Taylor, just you going back to you. You mentioned Xavier Tillman has been doing a you know a good job on LeBron James, but um, you know Luke Kennard. Uh, why didn't you turn to him? You know, down the stretch in the game. I mean, we, we needed to get a stop. Um, you know, I thought we were getting great looks on offense. Um, just, you know, I mean, Dez had open shots. We missed tons of layups. Um, you know, Luke was struggling until he hit that, you know, three at the end. And, you know, we wanted some defensive personnel out there to try to red and switch and have physicality and, you know, just have one guy that was going to be in like a hedge position. So, um, you know, but then when they were driving and we weren't shifting off the ball, it didn't matter who was on the floor. We gave him too much space downhill. Terry. You're up 97-90 with less than six minutes to go. Obviously, this team hasn't had the hasn't been great in the fourth quarter this season. What did you see down the stretch from this team? Just in terms, like, were you, was it in your mind just a factor of offensively shots not falling? Were you not getting the shots you wanted? How how would you describe kind of how you did offensively down the stretch? Yeah, I thought offensively. I mean, we executed. Um, you know, we've been adding some stuff the last couple of days. I thought our poise and execution was pretty solid. I mean, you got to give them credit; they're playing physical, so it's going to you know, force uh, some difficult entries for you. But I thought we got some great looks when we got offensive rebounds. You know, uh, we couldn't convert um, down the stretch. And then, you know, in the fourth quarter defensively, you know, Russell gets hot, knocks down some threes. And, you know, that was some mistakes on the ball that we got to clean up and get better at. Boy, Memphis had it. I don't want to say they had it, but it was – they could feel it. Up 97, 90, halfway. I mean – I don't think mid, they had it. No, midway through yeah. the fourth quarter. Well, it was but you're, it you're, was you're in a position where – you know what? Well, it was going to come down. We do our business. We get home court back. Yeah, it was going to come down to one play. I mean, they had to lead with three or four seconds, five. Well, I mean, well, when, how much of time was going when LeBron scored to lay up to tie it up? Oh, it was under a second. Yeah, so, so listen, yeah, they had to lead. This was a, a, just a terrific basketball game. Uh, they just don't have enough players right now. Uh, you know, the injuries are, are really a really huge deal. Uh, but, man, they competed. 
They got nothing to be afraid of or ashamed of. They played uh, Coach Wright. We competed our behinds off, uh, but they just couldn't make one play here or there. And then yeah. D'Angelo Russell, those three threes were huge as they took the lead, and then LeBron late. I was just going to say you have to give the Lakers others credit. Reeves and D'Angelo, they hit some timely shots. They really shoot the ball well. They hit some timely shots. If I'm Anthony Davis, I'm thinking those two tonight because, you know, combined they have 40 points. Those are the numbers we expect from a player of his caliber to, to you know, play on an important game such as this. But he didn't play well tonight, but the others, they stuck up for him. They, they played well. LeBron had 20-20. Dylan Brooks said he don't respect nobody until they get 40. 20 and 20 is 40. So hopefully he'll you know, respect yeah. them. You know, they did what they were supposed to do. You know, the Anthony Davis thing is fascinating to me. Like, I've never seen a, 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 a great player have these peaks and valleys. Well, you heard Chris Haynes' report, too. What? Chris Haynes talking about you know, he sees he sees AD on the bench. He doesn't look himself. He's separated himself. He's he's favoring the hip and that kind oh, of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop it, Ernie. No, uh, well, stop it, Chris. Stop it, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, he, he what, what about game two? He yeah. wasn't doing that. You almost made me curse, Ernie. He wasn't doing that stuff hey, in game two. I'm just, I'm just telling no, I'm you. I'm just saying, though, like, the Chris Haynes report. I, I don't understand a guy with that type of talent to have the peaks and valleys that he has. Like, he has to understand, like, LeBron and the others bailed him out tonight. It, he's supposed to be the best player on this team at this stage of his career. And some nights, he's the best. And the other night, you're like, man, what the hell is up with this dude? Well, you know, what's, what is interesting, you know, uh, I have, you know, stealing a quote from one of my sons, he's like, the best player after year 20 is on the floor. It's LeBron J. It's, like, that's what's the most fascinating thing as you watch this. This is not... Like, we, we're, we're taking for granted that we've seen this in Detroit. Well, how many years ago when we were, we were there? 2007, live? as a matter of fact. 2007. 25 straight points and 29. Right, like we watched this kind yeah. of effort, and then here we are in 2023, 16 years later. And here he is, the oldest guy <laughs> the in playoff history with a 2020 game. player in this game. game. Yeah. And yeah. That, that, is a, that is an amazing feat. Um, however, I, I think... I think what happens with Anthony Davis is when he came into the league, honestly, his best attribute wasn't scoring. You know, we, when I watched him in the national championship game and he won. No excuse. I don't think he had, no, I'm just saying. It. Stop it. So I'm just, it's not an excuse. I'm just no, telling you who he is. Good no, I'm telling, telling you who he is. I just want to tell you who he is. To me. Years, no, four years ago, we all said. No, I'm not. No, no, let me finish. Four years ago. I didn't finish, though. I'm just saying I don't believe that, I, that you're wrong. I'm just believing the expectation level of what he is, isn't a scorer. So he's going to defend. He's going to rebound more nights than he will score. Yeah. I've always yeah. thought that yeah. about him when as saw, a player. When we saw him play when he was with the Pelicans and he was going off all those games, all of us I still thought he said, wasn't that. No, no, all, yeah, you did. All of us sat up here and said in two, three years, he's going to be the best player no, in the league. I didn't believe You that. said it. I didn't believe that when, when I know well, well, Kevin Durant. I, well, I, I said it. When, 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 I, when I saw him with the Pelicans, I said, woo. Because yeah. he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And he was scoring. And I said, yo, man, I, I mean, this dude going to be the best basketball player in the world in three of three years. And Find that clip, Fiorello. And not, not only that, though, this, these peaks and valleys that he goes through, like tonight, he wasn't there. Game two, he wasn't there. Yeah, game and, three, 31 and 17. Yeah, but, and then, but you go four, 12 but you, and 11. But you go games one and three, you're like, oh, that's what we expect. But it, it's just fascinating that when he goes from one and three to two and four. Through it all, the Lakers with a 3-1 advantage in the series, number seven leading number two. They go back to Memphis Wednesday on TNT for game five. And Memphis will try to send the series back to Los Angeles. Charles, after having a successful guarantee, and you did get that one right, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well sleep in the studio. Too. I agree with you, Knuckles. Why you say that? Because we got we got to be back here again today. When we come back, Giannis was back from Milwaukee, but the Butler stole the show.